Today's topic is introduction of cold atom physics for teenager students. Around 100 years ago, the field of physics was turned on its head by the discoveries of the laws of quantum mechanics. One of the fields that have emerged in this change of direction, the field of quantum gases or ultra-cold atoms, is the fastest expanding and most interdisciplinary field in physics today. So today, I will explain about cold atoms. First, what is ultra-cold atoms? We can infer features from the name. Ultra cold means its temperature is near 0 Kelvin, and the standard of temperature is 1 micro Kelvin. So, ultra cold atom is the atom which temperature is under 1 micro Kelvin. Why do we use the ultra cold atoms? The first reason is 0 Kelvin is the temperature at which the energy of particles such as molecules or atoms is minimum. At this point, the particle stops moving as if frozen. In this state, the movement of the particles is slowed, and it becomes a state where one can control and study the particles one by one. The second reason, the matter has the features of both wave and particle, and we call the feature wave-particle duality. Atoms are one of the matter, so atoms also have duality. Mm -hmm. I think you who watch this video already learned that in the macro world, it is difficult to feel that the matter has a wave property. However, when we use the ultra cold atoms, we can easily know the wave property because the atom moves more slowly. So, following the degree wave, the wavelength lambda is longer than high temperature. And near 0 Kelvin, it is very slow, so lambda is very large, so we can the wave property more. Furthermore, the atom, which behave like wave, can make superposition, so atoms look like one wave matter. Third one is how to make ultra-cold atoms. Until now, a method is used widely to collect molecules by surrounding them with cooler atoms. However, recently, a new method is developed. We use lasers and evaporations to cool atoms. First, the atoms are trapped and pre-cooled, typically via laser cooling in magneto-optic traps. What is magneto-optical trap? A machine that cools atoms by detuning a laser beam to a frequency lower than its resonant frequency. Laser light is observed only if the frequency of the light is shifted upward by the Doppler effect. And the Doppler effect occurs whenever an atom moves toward the laser source. Additional cooling is performed using evaporative cooling. And it is in magnetic or optical trap to reach the lowest possible temperature and magnetic or optical trap are a way to gradually lower the energy barrier so that the atoms in the trap have lower energy just like the shifter. Last summary why cold atom is useful to quantum mechanics. If the properties of particles can be controlled, I have inside one by one a quantum computer that quickly process a huge amount of calculations using particles at the same time, or a special purpose quantum computer that calculates quantum mechanical changes of molecules or atoms can be developed. It can be also used to develop quantum simulators. 
in addition. By using phenomenon in which cold and slow particles gather into a mass called Bose-Einstein condensation, which is the superposition, and the superflows and superconductors, which is here, can be made to develop electronic devices. If you don't feel curious the video, the video is the end. If you feel curious before content, I will introduce a few words, Schrodinger equation and potential. Just remain the person who feel curious. The Schrodinger equation is this one. When we serve Schrodinger equation, we can get Psi. And Psi square, which is the probability of electron or something is in there. So scientists analyze the equation of the electron and get orbitals looks like this. And sometimes scientists divide this energy operator to kinetic energy and potential energy. They focus on potential energy, they can get this picture. Following the energy state of the quantum, its position is changed like these two and top of, middle of top of bottom. If you study about this content, you can analyze the pre-explanation to this picture. I think if I explain here, you will feel boring. So I think you study about this content and write a question to comment. I hope you guys feel curious and start to hope to learn more. So today's topic is finish it. Thank you for listening. Introduction about quad atom physics.